All right, we're gonna head back out. I just upgraded uh, Meryl for a second. I was waiting for the recordings to switch over. Uh, where do I, I wanna go this way? Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, I want to leave. Okay. Go to Anders' clinic and bring Anders. See what he has to say. If he has anything to say about this. I'll bring Meryl along too, though. But if he's rude to her, I wish I could just punch him sometimes. Um... Twine? When did I loan you ha! a ball of twine? That was the first act! You gave it to me when I first moved here, when I kept getting lost in Lowtown. It drove the merchants in the market completely <laughs> batty, but it did help me find my way. Keep it, Daisy. I don't think I'll be getting lost again anytime soon. Oh, well, you never know. Might need to uh, tie a package up, hang a lantern, dress a roast chicken. It's handy it's to have! Oh. I kind of feel like I'm losing Meryl, too. Oh, these are kids. Okay. For Evelina? We got nothing here you'd want. Get back to Hightown and leave us alone. You're a little young for a blood mage. And I thought Evelina was a girl's name. I'm not Evelina. I'm Walter. Evelina was our friend. She was our mother. Evelina found us when the Darkspawn came, when our parents died. She made sure we got to Kirkwall safely. I miss her. Go, oh, stop talking, child. But when she went to join the circle here, they called her apostate for leaving the tower and for Elden. They locked her up. Don't you have any other family? Everyone died in the blight. Evelina kept picking us up, new children every day, everyone she could save. You came from Ferelden? Yes, until we got here, I thought we were the only ones who had survived. From Ferelden? Jeez. Do the Templars know you're here? I don't care. They only want Evelina. Didn't she want to stay free with you? She didn't want us to be stuck in Darktown. Oh, she that's why she went, because she wanted to get financial support. She thought support. the circle would help her, but they just locked her away. If you tell me where Evelina is, I'll try my best to help her. You can trust me. No one Trust! Can help Trust! The Templars made Evelina angry. They made her change. It wasn't her fault. When it was over, she was ashamed. She ran into the tunnels and hid. Shut up, Cricket. Don't tell them that. Evelina's in the sewer tunnels. You can't go there. She'll know we told you and she'll be angry at us. Angry? I didn't like when she got angry. We we have to hide. She's been pushed. Cricket. She's been pushed into doing something she didn't want to do. She was originally a good person and had a good heart. And now has become something she didn't want to be. Where am I trying to go? I gotta go up the stairs. No, but I can't. What is. Oh, down. Okay. Nothing. Scavenging today. I mean, say what you want about Solus. At least he didn't manipulate you emotionally. He never lied. Except a little bit. I think that was perhaps more oversight than anything else, though.
trap. Watch where you step. I love it when you do that. Whoa, we got other traps. I don't know where, but Tough rage demon. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're all on top of Meryl. Um for one thing, let's call my dog. And turn the blade. And I guess they're all after me now, right? Not all of them, but she can handle one, hopefully. something? Whoa. Jeez. Is this gonna be something where we're just having to tank it or something? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing here? I thought if we warned her about you, she, she wouldn't be angry. But then she... Walter... Uh-oh. She's coming! Run! There you are. Don't run from me, Walter. You know those are the rules. Funny. In my house, we always felt running away from violent mad... <laughs> At least we had that going for us, right? These are my children. You and your kind abandoned them. You're Feraldum, like us, that you feast on sweetmeats while your people starve in the Undercity. Spit on you, traitor. And on the pathetic Templars that sent you, Kirkwall should be mine. Then my children will have a whole city to play in. Well, you can't hate her. She was trying to keep her family safe. And she's a desire demon now. Uh, come on. And now she's a rage demon. Wow. She was... That was everything. That's everything a mother feels when their child is a desire to protect them. Rage at the pain they have to go through. I don't understand. Evelina loved us. She saved us. Why would she try to hurt us now? Sometimes a mother's love can be twisted into horrible shapes. Evelina would never hurt you, child. That was a demon. Remember her as she was. A brave, kind, loving woman. I... Hmm. I'll try. That was nice, Hulk. This isn't going to stop. The Templars force our hand. They make us take drastic measures just to be free. Like Evelina did. Exactly. I just don't know what we'll do now. Take this, and use it wisely. Thank you, Messer. I should go buy some food for the others. They've been hungry for a long time. Take care of yourself, Walter. Hmm. I do pity her. I do, I do. It really it's true what Ender said, and he didn't say it like a jerk. He wasn't saying it like propaganda ish, you know? He was It's just how it is. And I'm glad those children understood that they don't need to fear mages. It's like the Aeroshock said, the society 
The system is corrupt. And the people's actions are a result from a corrupt system. But how do you change that from the inside, you know? And I think that's one of the questions Anders asks. How do you change that? Oh shit, but I I know it. Ah. I hope that lady Oh wait, Evelina was that lady that we saw right here. She was right here, wasn't she? No, not I mean she was like right here, right? And she was begging for her children. But she wasn't a mage. That was and that was like that was like three years after the blight, wasn't it? Like she must have turned herself in pretty late. As like a last act of like desperation or whatever, you know? Oh my gosh, am I gonna get in without having to fight anybody? <sighs> I know, I haven't done much with runes. I apologize. Are you dead? Not dead? You look lovely tonight, my lady. Oh, you are too kind. I am so honored to have the champion in my home. Um, why? I will call for I a I was so polite. Jeez. I almost feel like Hawk is getting... Talia? Kinder. Oh, she is so slow, this girl. Come, let us chat while we wait. You're extremely cheery for a woman whose son is wanted by the Templars. Emil? Stiff oh, yes. upper lip. The Templars were asking about our poor boy recently. I haven't seen Emil since he was taken to the circle. He was just six. You can tell the Templars not to worry. I am sure Emil will turn himself in soon. He is a good boy. Dulce. What have you done? You should have told the boy to throw himself at the mercy of the Templars. Guillaume! Darling! Don't darling me, Dulce. He's been telling people he's our son, that you gave him gold. Guillaume! Darling, we have guests. Hi! <laughs> Don't stop on my account. This is fascinating. <clears throat> <laughs> I didn't mean to lie to you, champion. I... I barely saw Emil. I didn't think it was worth mentioning. Mm. I gave him some money. Not too much. He said he wanted to start a new life. A new life? His new life is spent in low town taverns, getting drunk on cheap wine. Well, what did it's you... It's a wonder the Templars have What did you expect him, him to do? You just kind Tempus, of abandoned please, him. Please, champion. Emil is not a blood mage, just a foolish boy. Don't let the Templars kill him. Blood mage? Oh, Guillaume, don't say that. Please, save my son's life. If there is a way to help Emil, I will find it. Thank you, champion. I can't be... An acquaintance I don't know. spied Emil in the hanged man not long ago. He should still be there. Maybe she has the pity. The hanged man? Oh, but that place is filthy. Maybe... Come, Dulcie. Perhaps you should lie down. <laughs> Maybe, um... Hawk... ...finds that she sympathizes... Oh, but the hanged man is so filthy! <laughs> this is why I bring Beric. Oh, he's like around the corner. Oh, but the hanged man... ...he's so filthy! And then he's... <laughs> I don't know, maybe Hawk sympathizes with Anders and sees 
the burdens he has to bear and is becoming a little more sympathetic towards mages and their family. I don't know. We could look at it that way. Oh boy. Hey. I really don't think you have much of a chance against me. What are you doing? Are you like healing yourself? Yeah, stop that. You don't get to do that. My dog just appeared on top of you. Let's finish this. Haha. Oh wow, you're getting swarmed, guy. Go down. Uh, yes, we are all still alive. How fantastic. Thank you for your concern. Uh, we want to go fast travel to the hanged man. Down. Down, down, down. We've been traveling a lot of places at night in this act. I'm gonna go check on the Grand Cleric really quick. Oh, can I not get in at night? Can I not go to the Chantry at night? Um, hanged man during the day? Then I want to go check on the Grand Cleric. And I'm bringing Anders with me and I freaking, he just... Boy, you're in over your head. With your balding awesome. patch. Wow, yeah. You look awesome. Wow. Are you are you a mage? Because you just magic my breath away. Oh boy. You need more practice with women. <laughs> Can I practice on oh, you? Oh good. <laughs> In private? Can I kill him yet? He's hurting. Me. His eyes! He's lived in the circle all his life. He can't function in the real world. Rhonda drinks on me. I'm Emil. As you know, and you are. <laughs> Feeling very sorry for you. <laughs> I'm also helping the Templars hunt a mage named Emile de Lancé. And here you are. And here you are. Oh, buggery. I, I know what this is about. I, I, I'm not a blood mage, all right? I uh, started that rumor because, uh, because I thought it would make me sound dangerous and uh, suave. Do you have a death wish? You grew up in the circle. You know what the Templars do to blood mages. I've only told people in the tavern. And only women. Yeah. You don't understand. I've been in the circle since I was six. Six? For 20 years I was locked up. I never had a real drink or, or cooked something for you myself. You wouldn't have done that anyway. You were a noble son. Never stood in the rain or kissed a girl. Don't touch me. The Ferelden circle's more fun. <laughs> everyone was kissing everyone. That was the impression no, I got. No, that was before the abominations. <laughs> I just wanted uh, to live. In see, Anders, it's not all bad. If you are going to kill me, do it. I'd rather die drunk. Did you really escape the circle so you could kiss a girl? Shoot, I need to get a Isabella. Whip. Not just that. Isabella I've might kiss so him, but she doesn't standards. Do I just. Don't want to die of Elgin. Uh, tur uh, uh, I think you should turn yourself in. Uh, he's not, he couldn't function. You can't run. The Templars will find you eventually. I, I'll make you a deal. Nope. Right? Give me one night. Just. Not with night. me, boyo. Oh, one of the tavern girls, Nella. Oh, wow. To lie with wow. Me. I even paid for a room. Okay. Please, let me have this. You can take me back in chains after. That's not a good idea. Why is that a specialty option? I mean... I don't see why not, you know? I mean, I do, actually, but at the same time, it's like, well... I'll take him back, just... 
You know, like, it's my responsibility. I'll take him, you know? Uh, I hope I don't regret this. Or, no. Uh, let's try. Okay, no. Would you really risk your life to be with her? Okay, that's true. She's not even special. That's true. Good point, Hawk. She's not. Too ugly. You really shouldn't just... The Templars may come while you're with her. Yeah. And believe me, they won't ask questions before they... This isn't through. worth dying for. Maybe you're right. Maybe it isn't worth it. Yeah, it's a... If you want to... The first time that you have sex with someone, you kind of oh, want it to be win. important. I'll go back to the circle. This was a stupid idea for Okay, me. good. I mean, I didn't want to, like, cut on his, like, free will or anything, but, you know... Oh, hey, you're over here. What are you doing over here? I once knew a sailor like Alright, what's the dealio now? Tell Meredith they've been located. Okay. Well, I was able to save one. I hope he doesn't have too horrible of a fate. I hope she seems to not be trying to kill them, but also being turned tran tranquil isn't a good option either. But I think this kid would rather be tranquil than... I don't know. Some people would rather live with some vestige of life, and some don't want to. Have I ever mentioned that I like your court? You do? Oh! It's very lively. Like a crow in the middle of hunting. That's... <laughs> that's great. Thanks, Meryl. I tried to warn you, Blondie. <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> oh, cute! Oh, that is cute. I hope the order can count on your support. Uh, I. The first enchanter is. Um, should I go over here again, or, or no? That's not a. Oh, do I not? Do I not go here? Where do I go? Okay, yes, the Gallows Templar Hall is over here. Oh, it is, it is, okay, this wasn't here before. Like, in the other acts, I could not get in. Oh, maybe I should have saved. Already do, do, do. Well,. Let's do a hard save now. And... Go talk to Meredith. See, this is why they're all weird! If you just let them act like normal people, maybe they wouldn't go crazy all the time. What's this? Oh, this is where I talked to Elsa. But I heard yelling. Yeah? No? I'm led to believe that both Huon and Evelina are dead. Unfortunate, but necessary. Emile de Lancé, however, turned himself in. Rather happily, I might add. I would have had him executed immediately. But the boy's father made an impassioned appeal on his behalf. What say you, champion? Do you believe Emile to be dangerous? No. He was never a danger to anyone but himself. Very well. Emile will keep his life, though I will watch him closely. The blame for everything these mages did can be laid at your feet. Look at the way you treat them. Is it any wonder they're so desperate? I have heard this argument often. Maybe they are not corrupt. Maybe they deserve leniency. Maybe they can be saved. Give me your sword. There are maybes enough to fill half the graves in Kirkwall. I will not add more to the pile. Enough. I have not the patience to argue with you further. A small problem? Oh, oh boy, so we get... Oh, oh, Varric. 
Oh, so this is not gonna end as quickly as I wanted it to. I appreciate your assistance. Orsino and this is Meredith are difficult... gonna be talking to me. I just want this to be over. Varric wants to talk, though. I was just at the hanged man. I probably have a letter at my house or something. We'll see. Maybe this is like a hinge quest. Oh, hey, buddy. Got a minute, Hawk? Oh, for you. I know this is ancient history, but remember that high town house Bartrand barricaded himself in? Bartrand doesn't exactly need the place now that he's in the sanitarium. I've been trying to sell it. Yeah. I can only imagine there's a huge market for the homes of deranged killers. Well, the creepy sort of people who are interested are generally not the ones with the coin to take it off my hands. I found a minor noble in Ravain who bought the place sight unseen. But now there's a problem. They say the place is haunted. Yeah, well... If they hadn't seen the place, I'd expect the first complaint to be about the corpses in the hall. I may have neglected to mention the mansions of... Oh, of course you did. ...the buyer. They've noticed some minor problems. And <clears throat> voices whispering in the walls. Minor problems. Apparitions, things moving on their own. My hope is it's a relic Bartran brought back from the deep roads. We smash it, and the haunting stops. Uh... What happens if we do nothing? Best case, they drag me before the Seneschal... Because the house is haunted? Fraud. The worst case involves Antivan Ah, uh, they are Antivan. Oh no, she's Reva he's Ravain or something. I'm not an expert on hauntings, but... What if smashing something does Hulk's not eyebrows like permanently cocked up right now? Ah, that's where things get tricky. You come from a family with magic, Hawk. Uh, what? You must have experience dealing with Wh the what? weird. I'm sure you'll be able to figure something out that will help. Well, uh, can't you do this yourself? Hawk, I'm a businessman. Now and then, I shoot people. <clears throat> I don't know anything about ghosts or magic. All right, so Anders it's and Meryl? It's entirely possible that even if I find the thing that's causing the trouble, I won't be able to stop it on my own. Eh, ah, we'll take it. Very well. <laughs> we'll investigate the mansion. Again. Again. Thanks, Hawk. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Do you ever feel like the world's getting sick? I refuse to poke like people. from eating. Oh, um, should we go used to be. poke that lady or something? There's, like, somebody in here who we can tell that we took out some a group of people or something. No, oh, it's just the guy in there. In our... Okay, whatever. No big. I don't know what that Canari's doing over there and why everyone seems okay with him being over there. Yeah, I've got letters. I'm sure I've got letters. Woolly woolly. We're going at night, too. Awesome. Oh, shoot. Wait. Um, I should probably stop at my house, actually. I do want to bring... Maybe, maybe Isabella can tell us something if her mom was a fake seer. Um... Okay, hang on. Let's actually... Go to my house. It's, yeah, okay. Your travels? There's another letter waiting for you. Thank you. Oh my gosh! It's courtesy you pass. Oh, it's Cullen. Beware that I have received complaints about your frequent companion, Aveline. She's accused of coddling her men and weakening law enforcement in this crucial time. In the absence of a Viscount, I'm called to vacate her position. Oh! <gasps> Please speak with her about these claims. This champion, you're working to decide this matter and save the career of a good. Ah, oh, okay. So he doesn't. He doesn't want it. 
Jeez, best served cold. From Orsino. Took great courage the other day for you to speak up on the Astronaut Commander. You have my support in any actions you take. I hope I have yours as well. If it's a situation circle, hoping, please, maybe, confine my mages to their cells and forbid me from traveling from the courtyard. Wow, okay. Thank you for presenting. Emil, but you probably saved his life. Uh, but this coin. Uh, express her gra- oh. From the desk of Knight Commander Meredith, Mer Miss Air Hawk, Knight Commander Meredith expresses her gratitude for services rendered. Please accept this token of her humble appreciation. From Elsa. Favor and fault. Best served cold. That's it? Okay. Best served. Oh, main plot. Haunted and. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, I should probably call it here. I have to go do some things in real life, but then I will be back. Because <laughs> I don't think I'm going to finish this game tonight, but I want to. Ah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me again. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you in the next one.